welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph and in this video I am going to be sharing my favorite Vancouver bookstores. If you've been here for a while you already know that I am a Canadian living in Singapore. So last month I went home to Vancouver and I went there with an agenda and that was to buy some indigenous lit that I can't usually get in Singapore. I'm also doing a reading around the world challenge where I try and read a book from every country that I travel to. Um, and a book by somebody who's currently living in that country and of course while I was back in Canada I've already read like a lot of Canadian lit but I realized I haven't read any indigenous lit and that's not as easy to find in Singapore so I called up one of my <laughs> closest bookish friends and we went hunting. Towards the end of the video I will do a little haul wrap up and show you what I got. The very first place that we went to was White Dwarf. Funnily enough, this is like also the only bookstore that I have never been to before, and neither had my friends, so it was kind of a new experience for both of us. <laughs> you do me. You were really surprised that there is way more paranormal fantasy and like romance books than we were expecting at all. I didn't find the specific books that I was looking for here, but it was really fun to browse around and I did find a few surprises.
quite a few books that are from my haul. And not all of them I got in this video, though most of them I did. But I'll talk about them in order. So from Pulp Fiction, I got The Marrow Thieves. This one is uh, indigenous lit, as you can probably tell, but this one reimagines a world where people can no longer dream. It's kind of a dystopia. Indigenous people are being hunted because they've discovered that their bone marrow has the key to recovering this ability. So it follows a boy named Frenchie who is on the run from the Marrow Thieves and trying to survive. At the time of filming this video, I have read this and I really enjoyed it. But I will talk about it a little bit later in an upcoming video. So that's the Marrow Thieves. And then at Massey Books, I got Red, A Hide Among Us. I have already put this... I talked about this book before when I was discussing my reading around the world challenge. This is by a Haida artist who employs a lot of like traditional Haida colors like red, white, black, um, and incorporates it with, you know, other accent colors to kind of communicate like the mood and the energy of the story as you progress through it. And the art is beautiful. So I'm super happy that I was able to pick this one up. I think it's so interesting to blend what a story that was originally a traditional oral narrative with manga. This is a revenge story about a guy named Red who is the leader of a small village and his sister was abducted many years ago and he gets word that she's still out there. So he goes hopefully to rescue her and to exact revenge on her captors. So really happy that I picked this up. There is also Carpe Thin, I think, which is another uh, manga, Haida manga, but I decided to only get this one mostly because they're kind of expensive and I had really limited suitcase space. <laughs> Later on, I think um, in the year, maybe I will pick that one up as well because this has been a really great read. Up next, I have two graphic novels from a comic book store I actually wasn't able to film in. So it's on Granville Street downtown and I will put the address somewhere if you're interested. But I got Monstrous Volume, I think four. So Monstrous Volume four, this has been a graphic novel that I have been working on for quite a long time now and I just love it. It's what got me into reading graphic novels and the art is stunning. That's monstrous. And then I was walking along and I just found this really funny. I have no idea what it is about. It says, it is the first volume of a thrilling epic in the tradition of Sandman and Saga. So pretty high expectations there. Joan Peterson discovers that she is trapped in an endless, terrifying cycle of romance. A problem to be solved, a man to marry, and every time she falls in love, she's torn from her world and thrust into another tear-soaked tale. Her bloody journey to freedom and revelation starts in this breathtaking, groundbreaking okay, collected edition. It's romance comics meets Quantum Leap, apparently. Uh, but I just really loved the picture of the bride holding a gun. Obviously, it's still in the plastic, so I will let you know how it goes when I get to it. Love Everlasting. <sighs> My favorite book possibly of all time. That is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I've already read it. This is the Folio Society edition and I just love how it looks um, in the box. But I blackmailed my friend into bringing it over from the UK for me. I've been wanting this for ages but the shipping is like the same cost of the book to Singapore so there's no way in hell that I was gonna get it and pay shipping at the same time. I am so excited to have this. You know the very classic cover with rhododendrons that look the color of blood and it's illustrated. Let's see that? And it has lots of like smaller ones. There's the brush, if you know the story. But yeah, the quality of this book is just so high. The paper is so nice and thick. It's heavy. You can feel the spine is really, really well enforced. I'm just so, so excited to have it. The other book that I got in Canada was a gift for me. This is Sheologies. This is a book of poetry. There's really no better description than the back. So this is the poems in Sheologies begins with folktale world where lagoons speak, flowers pray, and seagulls wear kippahs. They invite the reader to personally engage with the ancient technologies of Jewish magic, prayer, and mystical text to locate our present-day ancestors and create new rituals. Through fabulism, folklore, and lyrical prose, 
Shale juice swirls reverie with recipe spells prayers. So I've been kind of slowly making my way through this and I'm not Jewish, but I don't think that you really need to be Jewish to appreciate how beautiful some of this prose is. And she's still selling them, so a little plug, you can get it at Minerva Rising. And I will put a link down below, but if you love poetry, um, magic, beauty, femininity, feminism, this is a really joyful, life-giving, beautiful little book of poetry. So those are all the books that I picked up on my trip to Vancouver. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I absolutely had the best time back at home and going around the bookstores. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time.